And here we are for vlog 135. Hey everybody, it's me, Jaime the Shedding Cartoonist Musician, broadcasting from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters located in wonderful Alameda, California, on the second cup of coffee. So it's still, as you can see, it's just started. Mm. Still on the organic French roast that tastes wonderful. Uh, I realized um, <clears throat> I've been a little, little slack on doing the throwing a musical uh, pick on here recently, so I'm going to do that today. And today I'd like to talk about um, a guitarist that's been influential on me in so many ways, and there's a handful of them that I really, really love. Uh, those of you that may know, may not know, I am a string player, guitars, uh, ukuleles, dobros, <clears throat> even a bajo sexto, um, all sorts of stuff. But anyway... Uh, I was, as a teenager and a young teenager, I really got into blues for some reason. It just resonated with me, and um, I was a fanatic for pre-World War II blues, acoustic stuff, but of course I also liked electric stuff too. Um, you know, yes, Chicago blues and all that, though I, I'm more akin to the music from the Gulf Coast, and I, I mean, not just blues, but there's, there's something in the water. I mean, when you really think about it, and you trace music from, say, the tip of Florida going west around the rim of the Gulf Coast and all the states you go through, and I mean all the way through Texas and down into Mexico, man, the music from all those regions is, is um, just incredible. And especially in the United States side, how uh, influential it was to popular music today. Um, and so I'm uh, going to talk about a guy I dug, and I found this CD a while back. And that's um, Jimmy Nolan. Um, for those of you James Brown fans, yes, it's the same Jimmy Chank Nolan, who is a guitar player and was once a band leader with JB. And um, Jimmy Chank Nolan, because he invented that style, that rhythm side, Chank, Chank. But this is before. This is like the 1950s to about 1962, I think it says. Yeah, 1953 to 1962. So uh, quite a span right there. And... Uh, um, Jimmy's style back then, it was all jump blues, so heavily into jazz, but really with that grit. And his style was a lot, like, here, I'll put this up here a little more. His style was a lot more, um, you could tell he was listening to, say, uh, T-Bone Walker and uh, people like that, maybe Pee Wee Creighton and um, guys I'm just totally fanatical about. Matter of fact, I loved Aaron T-Bone Walker so much, my son's middle name is Aaron. And I love some blues so much, my son's first name, his real name, is McKinley. He's named after Muddy Waters. So, um, Muddy and, and, and T-Bone. When he was born, uh, a band I was in, the band members all called him Muddy T-Bone. So anyway, um, yeah, Jimmy Nolan, man. This this is such a great record. And it's a, it's a two-disc set. And it has, um, you know, outtakes. It has parts one and parts two. And um, as you can see, it's got a lot on there. It, it's on the Jasmine label. And it's so, oh, okay, yeah, these recordings, I thought so, are both in mono and stereo, depending on what they recorded. And this label's from the UK, but I'm sure you could find it somewhere. It, it's a, a wonderful collection. I suggest getting into Jump Blues. There's a lot of guys that were um, amazing there. And, you know, there's some local cats, too, that... Uh, helped uh, pioneer all this. Uh, Pee Wee Creighton, who made his fame and fortune mostly down in LA, but then migrated up here to Oakland. And of course, the late, great Johnny Otis. Um, you know, Johnny Otis, man, he was, you know, in LA and up here also. Um, produced, wrote, recorded, played with, whatever, a, a, a plethora of musicians and songs that, you know, you've heard, like, you know, Willie and the Hand Jive is probably his most famous one. But, you know, songs like with Johnny Ace, you know, he was he was uh, the band leader and producer on a lot of those tunes, you know, like Pledging My Love and, and songs like that. So, yeah, California has a, um, even though the, the musicians might not be homegrown, Johnny is, but, you know, some aren't. They all migrated here, and we have our own scene, man. We had our own scene. But, yeah, Jimmy Nolan, that's, that's my pick for the day. I'll probably listen to him today, too, while I'm over there scribbling away. Um... All right, well, we're here on Friday, uh, TGIF, though I don't know if that means as much as it used to. Um, some people are still working from home five days a week, so 
Um, you know, maybe it does. Anyway, if you do have to go out today, I suggest masking up, washing and sanitizing your hands frequently, keeping a fair amount of distance away from other people, and of course being kind to one another and yourself. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I'll throw the old website down there just in case you're interested. And thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.